the most wonderful time of the year, especially right here in Cleveland. Christmas trees decorated, the streets lit up with twinkle lights, ice skating, celebrations, and of course, giving gifts to the community. Merry Christmas! Downtown Cleveland is the prime destination for kicking off the holiday season, and its Winterfest began its holiday festivities under the new GE Chandelier in Playhouse Square. Cleveland Winterfest 2014, what an exciting year. This is the 13th annual Winterfest. I heard we're expecting like tens of thousands of people downtown this year. Exactly, exactly. It's his first year from Public Square to Playhouse Square, and I'm excited for tonight. I'm a big kid. I want to see the fireworks. And I want to see the bands. I want to see the music and the vendors and the food. All right, well, let's get this show on the road. Winterfest 2014. This year's Winterfest kicked off the holiday season with the first ever tree lighting ceremony at the dazzling Playhouse Square District. The night included Christmas carol music by Old Stone Church Choir, fireworks, and other entertainment throughout downtown Cleveland. We've been holding someone to welcome everyone to uh, Playhouse Square downtown Cleveland. And thank you for being here and having a good time. Events like Winterfest are great for the city of Cleveland because it gives residents the chance to experience downtown's vibrancy through horse and carriage rides, live entertainment, a fireworks show, and more. I think it's a great event for the city and it brings down the families and I think they should have more events like this. Is this your first Winterfest? Yes, it is. What do you think so far? I love it. It's great. <laughs> did you? How long did you uh, stay today? Did you stay here all day? Uh, we got here around like three o'clock, so three pretty much all day. This is my home, so I'm home visiting, but I live presently in Michigan. Okay, and is this your first time to Winterfest in downtown Cleveland? It is, and it will not be my last. Tonight's turnout has been fantastic. I am so pleased to see downtown Cleveland so alive with people. It is awesome to see and experience. Megan Tinker, the strategic communication specialist for the Downtown Cleveland Alliance, expressed how pleased she was with the turnout for this year's Winterfest. Yeah, we're just thrilled with the turnout tonight. Winterfest is a tradition in downtown Cleveland, so people that come every year will come again. And then our new location, we're really hoping it excited people to come down and help us celebrate the development in downtown Cleveland. Festivities um, sponsored by Huntington, um, and then Downtown Cleveland Alliance helps to organize the entire event, um, all the event planning and marketing. Um, so we're really excited to be part of Winterfest and help bring people downtown to Cleveland. Uh, it's an exciting, great location. It's a great night for Cleveland. It's exciting to be under the chandelier, the largest chandelier in the world. And it's a great night for Cleveland. It's great traditions for these families to do this year after year. All right, so talk about tonight's turnout. It's a lot of people out, out here on Euclid. It's jam-packed, absolutely jam-packed. It's so exciting. Great traditions for these families to come down and you're gonna see some great fireworks and beautiful lights. And, can't beat it. Can't beat it. Best location in the nation right here in Cleveland. What was it like, let's say 20 years ago even, the crowd, where for something like the Winterfest or the tree lighting ceremony, did you see this kind of crowd? I mean, this is really unbelievable tonight. No, this really, I think, has set a very high standard for the numbers of people that are taking advantage of the festival and are down here. I think word is getting out that this is really a great place to help celebrate the holiday and to be part of the Cleveland scene. And after all the entertainment for the evening, Santa had one last surprise. I love coming to Cleveland. I love this street. Let's light it up. We're wrapping up a great night at Playhouse Square in downtown Cleveland. It's been the most exciting day and night, Winterfest 2014. The number of people alone has been astounding.
pounding. Crazy. Can't believe it. Stuck in a mob for a minute there. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to see my favorite part. Well, other than the performances, I love the fireworks and also the lighting of the chandelier. What about you, Justine? You know what? I loved the electric feeling of everyone down here. Everyone was so exciting. The music, the feel of the whole downtown area is so exciting. We've got the chandelier. We've got so much excitement going on here. It's incredible. We've got the best city in the world. The I best city in the world. Yeah. I agree with you. <laughs> and if you didn't make it this year, You've got to come to Winterfest 2015. Check out the lights, check out the music, check out everything. Great people. Great people. All right, TV 20. <laughs> we are Cleveland. We are Cleveland. There's nothing like seeing beautiful holiday decorations this time of year, and our very own TV 20 reporter Katrina Leone went to the Horseshoe Casino for the third annual Holiday at the Higbee's event, where these displays were brought to life. Take a look. So this is the first year that it's the Nutcracker theme then? Yes, every year we've done something a little different. Mm -hmm. we've, um, we started out just really celebrating what Higby's department store used to do on the first floor with their holiday decorations, which were so grand and beautiful. And a lot of people remember those, um, coming down here as a kid and, and with their grandparents and, and shopping for the holidays. So we really tried to create those beautiful archways over the first floor gaming floor. And then um, we recreated the, the giant bells that with the tassels that hung over the floor too. Higby's used to have that in the department store. And it really takes a strong group effort. Um, pretty much everyone is involved uh, from a phenomenal team of designers and crew members that I have. Um, even everyone here at the casino really pays uh, attention and really contributes to helping us out from security to facilities to marketing and surveillance. Everyone is a group effort. and so. We really do, everyone gets excited about the holidays here. It's really a phenomenal group effort that everyone puts in. World-renowned designer, Lou Nosti, spoke to us about what inspired him to bring his window displays to our city. This year I designed uh, the Nutcracker display to fit these windows. Of course, it was, uh, it's a wonderful ballet and story that was created by Tchaikovsky back in the late 1800s. It appeared in New York at the uh, ballet in uh, 1993 at Carnegie Hall for the first time. Of course, prior to that, it was in St. Petersburg. And it's a beautiful story, it's a, it's a dream. And I was always fascinated with it because it's a Christmas story and a tremendous amount of my work is Christmas. And we discussed what I wanted to do and it was a go. And it was a wonderful experience. The NOAA was wonderful to work with and we were able to accomplish something and bring back uh, the look of what it was back then in Cleveland. The 15th annual Warehouse District Holiday Tour took Clevelanders around town for beautiful apartment sightings, delicious food from neighboring restaurants, and some holiday cheer. District is downtown's really oldest neighbor in an era of rejuvenation. It all started about 30 years ago. We have three excellent residences on the tour. People put their personal residence on the tour. We have a bit, couple business locations and we're highlighting our small box retail project. And there's about 450 people here today. It's a sellout. Um, we could sell more tickets. But we let everybody have a good time. So you can see it's crowded. So it's a really a great night for us. Well, I really enjoy it because uh, so many times on Saturdays when I do my take a hike tour, we don't get to spend a lot of time with the people. But tonight, it's kind of a holiday atmosphere and we get to talk a lot and walk around with the same group and uh, they all get to uh, find out what this great area is about. Children from City of Cleveland Recreation Centers joined Mayor Frank Jackson and Director of Public Works Michael Cox to kick off the holiday season with a tree trimming ceremony at City Hall Rotunda. But what we do with these trees, we have two trees 
one of those used to be public square, but now it's down on uh, in Playhouse Square. And the other one comes here to City Hall. And we get these trees from citizens in the city of Cleveland out of their yards, and they donate these trees to us. So Mr. Dan Weaver donated this tree for us, and we appreciate him, and we give him a round of applause. First of all, I just want to thank the record show. I was in your shoes before, just like she stated, and I know it can be challenging at some time, dealing with kids, so I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys are doing a good job, and I see it. Merry Christmas! People from all over the area laced up their sneakers and broke out their favorite movie character costumes for the second annual A Christmas Story Run, which began near Cleveland's Horseshoe Casino and ended in Tremont at the historical home. All proceeds from the race benefited the A Christmas Story House Neighborhood Restoration Project. For more information on The Christmas Story House and next year's run, you can visit their website at achristmasstoryhouse.com. The fifth annual Winter Frolic at Halloran Rink was the perfect way to get into the holiday spirit. Members of our community gathered with Ward 11 Councilwoman Dona Brady to receive gifts from Santa, have some fun on the ice, make balloon animals, and much more. Merry Christmas! We are here at Halloran Ice Skating Rink for the annual Westtown Winter Frolic. This is the evening that we welcome Santa for his first appearance in Cleveland and in Ward 11. And uh, behind me you can see him. He's here for all the little children to tell him what they would like to have for Christmas and have their pictures taken with him. And then in a little while, we'll be taking a stroll out to the gazebo where we will be lighting the Christmas gazebo for the holidays. We've got a tree and lights and lots of giveaways, lots of cookies, and the children just always have a wonderful time here. So we welcome you all to Ward 11. I'm Councilwoman Donna Brady. And make sure if you're not here tonight that you come back and visit us sometime this summer. For more information on other events being held at Halloran Rink, you can visit the Department of Recreation on the City of Cleveland's website at city.cleveland.oh.us. Located near University Circle is the Rockefeller Park Greenhouse. This year they hosted a kids fest as a way to celebrate the holiday. And today they're having a Meet Santa Day with free activities and presents and Meet Santa and live music and I'm explaining how I painted the rain barrels and um, why it's a good idea to have a rain barrel. You get free water and it keeps um, waste and chemicals from going into the lake so it keeps the lake clean and you get free water and it lowers your water bill. This might look like your typical school gym and just another ordinary basketball hoop behind me but the way it was delivered here to Scranton Elementary School was anything but ordinary. <laughs> Twas a few weeks before Christmas when all through this gym, not a basketball hoop in sight until Dick's Sporting Goods stepped in. Our kids love basketball and love extracurricular activities and our current hoops have been kind of falling apart. We've been repairing them and repairing them 
and uh, couldn't afford to buy new ones. We were in desperate need. The new hoops were wrapped and hidden with care in hopes that a big surprise soon would be there. When what to their wandering eyes did appear, two new basketball hoops and a star cavalier. I was excited when I seen Kevin Love. I was like, my mind went like, completely like, wow, he's just so tall. Hundreds of students cheering with glee, barely believing what they could see. So away to the hoops, they made a mad dash to play games in big jerseys and win in a flash. But to play those games with them was, was certainly a lot of fun. And you know, anytime you can you know, spread love and, and, and spread a smile is, is, is very nice. He teamed up with Dick's Sporting Goods to kick off holiday hoops in style, paying it forward with 100 more across the U.S. with a smile. It really means a lot to me to give back and to be a part of something special like this. Two basketball hoops given here to Scranton Elementary today. We'll give out 100 throughout the entire uh, holiday season. So it's, it's very nice to start out here in Cleveland today. He answered their questions, he posed for their photos, and then he signed his name, while everyone in the gym would never be the same. This is an event that they're going to remember for the rest of their lives. Uh, it's not every day you get a chance to meet a, a star of the NBA especially around the holidays, being able to see the, the joy that they are able to take away from this event. It means a lot to me, and what I got to do is keep my grades up and treat others like I want to be treated. The jersey, I'm going to give it to my coach, Mr. Bender, because I know him for seven years, and he took me to a lot of games. Spreading the love and the holiday spirit from one to all. I think it's safe to say everyone here had a ball. Reporting from Scranton Elementary School, Shannon Kantner, CMSD TV. <laughs>for our community to come together. It's about family. You see all the kids running around. The community gives back. So the community comes out and donates kids, I mean, uh, toys for the kids. And so we, we're, you see, if you can see over there, they're wrapping the, the presents now. And the kids have come up. We even have Santa Claus here to, do, uh, to give pictures out and everything. So 
It's just an opportunity for us to come together as a community and celebrate all of, of the good things that are happening around us. And it's also a good thing for the family to come and bond. Because we are a part of the neighborhood, uh, we enjoy the Christmas party for the kids and the grandkids. 40 year residence of Ward 7, and I've loved every 40 years plus of it. I've been doing the display and the Christmas arrangement for this Christmas party for the last four years. Today, this is my latest and I think my most satisfying. I really, I envision this as opposed to just going out buying decorations and putting them up. I envision this Christmas tree structure thing and I'm really satisfied with it. There are so many unique and diverse cultures that make up the city of Cleveland, and they join together for the fifth annual multicultural holiday celebration at the Cleveland Convention Center. And now we have this wonderful new strong organization to represent the over 120 uh, diverse nationalities, ethnic groups, cultural groups in Northeast Ohio. So we're about bringing people together and this event tonight is an opportunity to bring a diverse group of people together to celebrate the holidays. But every day is a holiday here in Cleveland. For the past 19 years, Councilman Zach Reed has hosted one of the largest charity events of the holiday season to raise money and toys for the children in our community. The Toys for Tots event became a fashion show just three years ago, and this year it was held at the Vault at the Nine. feel now, 19 years in, to be still bringing such a huge event in Cleveland? Oh, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel elated that we, after 19 years, people still want to come out. They still want to help. That old adage that it's better to give than to receive, and tonight people are giving, and we appreciate that. What's your favorite part of this whole event? Well, it used to be just people having a good time. Now it's the fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> to see a lot of Clevelanders coming out to actually see fashion that are right here in Cleveland. I mean, these are locally designers who are doing a good thing here in the city of Cleveland. you got models like yourself that are right here in the city of Cleveland. So it's all about Cleveland. The toys stay here in Northeast Ohio. The models and the designers are right here in Northeast Ohio. And, and the people who continue to give are right here in Northeast Ohio. Cleveland's on the rise. Cleveland's moving in a new and better direction. And a place like the Nine here lets people know that we can go to that next level. And we thank you for helping the children and the rest of our community. Well, I think it's not thanking me. I just came up with the idea along with three other individuals, and we just kept, kept it going. But if people didn't come, if people didn't give, it would just be uh, an announcement with nobody. But because of the Marines that are here and the people that are here, they make it a successful uh, event, and God bless them. Is this your first time participating? No, it's not my first time. I've been doing it for the past three years, and it's always a great event that uh, a great event that Councilman Zachary puts on for us and it really does a lot for the community so we enjoy being out here supporting it because he's helping us fulfill our mission. And now since you said this isn't your first time, what's your favorite part of this event? My favorite part of this event is actually the end, the end of it when we receive the toys and the money so that we're able to actually go out and help these children of Northeast Cleveland. Director, is this your first time at Councilman Reed's Toys for Tots Fashion Show? No, I usually come every year. I believe it's a good cause. I believe that we, you know you take some care of some kids. It's always a good cause to be. I know the rec centers do get involved with Toys for Tots, and how long has that been going on? Oh, we've, it's been going on for a decade. We've been doing Toys for Tots with the Marines, and uh, they do a great job of offering us toys for kids, and we get uh, people to sign up to get their toys. And it's just part of the holiday spirit. I love it. I love Christmas. Yeah. Randy, once again, you have put on an amazing fashion show here at the Toys for Tots. Why do you get involved year after year for Councilman Reed's big event? It's such a great cause, and I'm so involved in different, you know, events and nonprofits in the city, and 
I have to say, this is one of my favorites. Zach and I love doing it, and it's a great turnout, it's a great event, everyone has fun, and they look forward to it every year. What's your favorite part of putting on this event? Oh my goodness. Um, I mean, I love seeing what we can do to help the children and provide all the toys, but I love throwing an amazing event in Cleveland that everyone gets to come out to, they're excited to be at, they're excited to be seen at. I just think it's so much fun. What makes this year so different from the rest? I think it's just getting bigger and bigger every year. So this year we've got um, all celebrity models. We have some very exciting models this year and we have a great turnout this year too. It's grown quite a bit since last year. Mark, this is your first time being a part of the Toys for Tots fashion show. How did you decide to get involved? You know what, uh, Zach uh, ran into I ran into him at lunchtime one time, and he said, "Hey, you want to be in the show?" I was like, "Sure, I can do that. I'll bring down the quality of the product a little bit, but that's okay. We'll have fun anyway." <laughs> so, what is your uh, impression so far of being here at the vault at the nine? I have never been down here. This is one of those places in Cleveland where you you walk in and you say, "I can't believe I'm in Cleveland. It's so cool down here, and what a great opportunity to do something like this." This in a venue like this. this is going to be really cool. Anton, you have come out once again for the Councilman Zachary Toys for Tots Fashion Show. What makes you decide to get involved every year? Well, you know, I did it two years ago, and I think it's such a great cause. You know, I mean, it's definitely, you know, for um, for kids. So I think it's just a great way to network and meet new people while doing great, um, you know, great things with the community. And speaking of great things, your designs. Right now I get to be honored to model one of your pieces again. Tell us about this piece that I'm wearing. Well, for this is spring. So, um, color block, I'm doing, um, this is all stretch satin, so it's very structural, but, you know, with a nice little flowy feel to it. So it's a nice, you know, I don't like to make women feel uncomfortable, you know, in my pieces. So it's a definitely a great, a great piece to wear. You look great. And, oh, thank you. And very comfortable. Involved. I know you said two years ago you participated, which I remember because I, I actually right. was honored to wear your outfit. But why decide to come back besides the... Uh, the, the, the fact you get to show your clothes. Well, again, though, I think Cleveland has a you know a big opportunity in fashion, but we just don't. You know, a lot of people think that Cleveland is not. It doesn't have what it takes in fashion, and I, this is a way to show them that you know Cleveland still has designers and we still have fashion. You know, and again, it's a great cause to get involved with the community. You know, and to show off you know what Cleveland has. While there were numerous celebrity models working the runway, there was no celebrity more iconic than the legendary Chubby Checker. It's wonderful being in Cleveland. God loves Cleveland, that's what they say. And I'm glad to be here, and I'm having a wonderful time. It's a beautiful night, and um, well. Ah, my day is made. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chubby. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> For more information on Toys for Tots, visit their website, toysfortots.org. Mayor Frank Jackson held his annual holiday gala at the YMCA on Prospect Avenue. The party isn't just a chance for people to have fun and win prizes. As TV20 reporter Justine Greenwald shows us, it's a charitable event with a mission to raise money to feed thousands in our community. Mayor Jackson, you have been so supportive of our city of Cleveland, the people of Cleveland. We really thank you. Oh, thank you. We're expecting a lot of people to come around tomorrow, too. Well, there will be, uh, tomorrow is our food uh, basket giveaway. We have it at uh, three places, a Zone Rec, um, a food bank, and at Zelma George. Now, uh, the people who come there, they do have to have uh, uh, a sheet of paper showing that they're entitled to it because there was a process that, uh, that people went through in order to be able to get the basket. And, and they've also sent out some certificates. I don't know exactly how many, but it's, it's, uh, it's several thousand. Well, we are very grateful to you, okay. our Honorable Frank Jackson, that you have been so generous through the years and so supportive of our community. So we thank you very much for well, everything. Thank you. Time. Thank you very much. This year we're giving away 2,200 baskets and 1,000 gift cards to families of the City of Cleveland in need. A lot of it is done through donations through City of Cleveland employees. Um, they generously give through their paychecks. And then um, businesses throughout the City of Cleveland and, and outside who have been doing this for years and years have generously continued to donate. We have a fabulous airport. We are very grateful for everything you have done for us. 
Tell us a little bit about your involvement in this program. Well, you know, we, um, we do so much to try to bring air service to the public, but it's always important to step back and remember that there are people less fortunate than us that may be going through a momentary downside in their life, and anything we can do to try to make life better for them, we should always do it, regardless of our capacity, regardless of our mission, and that's what we're trying to do with the airport system. The mayor um, is so committed to the least of us, and anything the airport can do to support them, we're here, and that's why we're donating the flowers. We have about 70,000 seniors in the city of Cleveland. Hundreds of them receive this food basket or a gift card, and they really, really look forward to it. It means a lot for those without enough food, and we, through the Department of Aging, are so happy to participate and be of assistance. At this annual event, you have been so generous to the city of Cleveland, to the people in need. Thank you so much for everything you've done, but how did you get involved in this? I understand you, your family has been involved in this for a long time. Oh yeah, uh, well, at the uh, bequest of the Honorable Mayor Jackson, uh, we, we, I think this is our fourth year, third or fourth year we got involved in, you know, try to carry on the traditions that my dad started. But, uh, you know, he was born in the city of Cleveland, built his business in the city, and it, it's uh, a, Truly, uh, we feel our responsibility to give back, and especially with the uh, nature of our business. A lot of the people that come through our doors benefits directly from the services that um, come out of this uh, event and organization. So, then you know, uh, this week is uh, a year that my dad passed. So, you know, we're just carrying on his uh, his traditions. How have you seen this event? benefit uh, the people of Cleveland and evolve over the years? Well, I would defer to Director Cox. <laughs> <laughs> He's Director been Cox always, always got something to say, right? <laughs> well, listen, this is a great event. Every year we do this, and every year, the day after, we go get out the food baskets, and it's just a good time in the city of Cleveland to help those that need the help. Uh, you know, as the mayor said, at least of us. And so it's just a good time. We come out, we enjoy ourselves, and get up early in the morning. That's right. And hit those food basket locations. So it's what we do, it's what we talk about in the city, is taking care of all of us. That's exactly right. We are taking care of our own, and we will be in three different locations tomorrow morning, expecting nearly 3,000 people. Is that right? At least 3,000 people to come out and get baskets. And we're prepared, we're ready, we're starting more early in the morning. And we'll get the bastards ready and we'll get everybody in there that comes in there that needs help, we'll give it to them. How many volunteers would you say there are helping out with this event? Oh, there's over a thousand volunteers that we that we get every year to come out, pack the bags, give the bags out, carry the bags to the car for the people that can't carry themselves. And it's just a great time. It's, it's enjoyable. Just helping people. How important is it for us to support our local? Uh, well, it's very important. You know, the mayor always says, you know, we'll be judged by what we do for the least of us. And this is just one more thing in that, you know, philosophy that we do in the city every day. You know, earlier the Division of Police actually did a, a Tours for Tots at Public Hall where we gave away um, toys and gifts to over 3,000 families. So, you know, it's all in the spirit of the holidays, but it's also in the spirit of what we do as Clevelanders. You know, we always give back. In 1990, Mayor Michael White started the Holiday Food Basket Giveaway to help feed thousands of those in need. Under the leadership of Mayor Frank Jackson, the wonderful tradition continues. TV20 went to each location to catch all of the holiday cheer as many came out to join the ongoing effort. Mayor, why is this event so vital for the community year after year? Well, it is something for us to give back to the community. You know, this uh, the money is raised. We had a uh, fundraiser last night, but all during the year there's money being raised to pay for the baskets so that we can give them away to people who need it. So it, it's, uh, it's all about giving back. And so many members of the City of Cleveland staff get involved. 
Well, you have uh, the cadets for our uh, police academy are here, uh, some directors, uh, uh, people who work at the utilities and different departments. And then you have volunteers like from the high schools. They come out and volu uh, police volunteers, fire volunteers. So it's a lot of people here that uh, support this program. And they do payroll deduction at work uh, to help pay for it. So it, it's a good program and, and with a lot of support. What makes you want to come out year after year to, to participate in the food baskets? I've been doing this for several years and to be honest with you, I donate money to it out of my paychecks. I do the payroll deduction to the mayor's food basket. I love the community and I love to give back and it's just fun seeing everybody who works for the city, all the volunteers coming together. For someone that's never participated before, what's something you could tell them, our viewers, about why they should come out next year and participate? It's a great way to give back during the holiday season because it's not just about us, it's about giving to others and it's, it's a great way to give back to the community that we serve every day. It's really important to show that the community, that they are important to us and that we are here to meet their needs. This is just such a wonderful event to show the integration between the administration and meeting the needs of the people. So today is really part of the spirit of giving and giving thanks and celebrating and just being uh, community focused and giving to the needy. So we're so excited to be here. City officials, employees, and local volunteers that got involved all had the same goal in mind, to give back to members of our community. Why did you decide to come out and volunteer this year for the Mayor's Food Basket? It's a chance to give back and help out the community. And what made you want to come out? I think it's important to help people that don't have as much as, as I do in my family. Well, it's kind of what we do as Clevelanders. You know, we get out and help. Um, we try to make sure that, you know, people that are less fortunate, you know, have a, a, a decent Christmas. And, and this is one way that the city does it. So, you know, we're glad to help, you know. Uh, you know, as a kid, you know, we weren't rich. You know, so there were times when we needed help. And this is just my way of giving back. We're just wrapping up uh, the end of the Mayor's Holiday Food Basket giveaway at Site 3. Uh, our task today was to pack uh, about a thousand bags for recipients that were coming in uh, for pickups. Uh, it was a tough challenge, but we had our, our plenty of volunteers. Uh, and certainly we had a thousand people that came through these doors today that we had to serve. Uh, you know, hard work, but uh, I think everybody feels good at the end of the day for having done something for uh, our community. Uh, certainly we thank the mayor uh, for his efforts and um, helping us for really serve 3,000 families as part of the entire process. It was a beautiful thing to volunteer. It's been five years since I've been volunteering, and I'm hoping that more people come out to volunteer for the next following year. And I enjoyed the all the residents and that came out and they enjoyed and they smiled and when we think that we don't need this they really do need this so they can smile and be happy and knowing that we are out there for them god bless have a merry and blessed new year really great. Uh, I personally dragged 14 bags, which I'm really excited about. This is my third year in a row doing this. Um, something me and my sorority, uh, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, New Theta Zeta Chapter, we've done, ev uh, done every year since around 2008, and I've been privileged to participate these last three years. Uh, it's just a, that time of the year, I just really, it's really important to me to give back. You know, not just go out and shop, but actually physically devote my time and talents to helping the city of Cleveland. Uh, uh, between the three sites uh, to provide uh, a holiday meal for uh, with 600 here, 600 at uh, Michael J Michael Zone, and 1,000 at Zelma George. So a lot of families will be able to benefit and have a better holiday. Just talk about your experience here today volunteering at the Mayor's Food Basket Giveaway. This has been a wonderful experience down here with the Mayor's Basket Food Giveaway, uh, just to be able to participate and help those that are definitely in need. Uh, and I think that's what we're called to do. 
The impact on a city like Cleveland, of course, you know that you know uh, the city of Cleveland does have uh, certain sections of the area that are impoverished, and there's definitely a need here in the city. So to have something so, of this magnitude is such a wonderful idea, and we're so glad to be a part of it. Thank you for watching the 12 Days of Cleveland Christmas Special. From our TV20 family to yours, we wish you happy holidays. Thank you.